My name is Helen Turek, and this is Eve News Now. March 12th, Inquirious. The system of LTAC 6 be one was the site of another Drake massacre. Peel brought the same fleet type that has won the many battles in the past, and the Stainwagon Atlas Coalition brought the same Drakes as before, again with a 2 to 1 numerical advantage. It wasn't enough. In short order, the Drakes were killed, and the station was taken by Pandemic Legion. March 13th, Inquirious. The system of I-1Y Tech IU had an eerily similar battle as yesterday, with PL standard Abaddon logistics setup versus a Drake heavy blob. This time the blob was AAA led, and the results were very different. The fleet fielded by AAA and allies drove the PL fleet off the field. In addition to having an even greater numerical superiority than the fleet yesterday, this Drake army had significantly more shield logistics backing them up. Perhaps that was the tipping point. March 15th, there's turmoil in the Northern Coalition as three corporations have left wildly inappropriate and joined Rage Alliance. This brings Rage to over 4,000 members and wildly inappropriate to under 3,000. March 16th, in the Citadel. The Northern Coalition Alliance Mostly Harmless lost two motherships to Invicta today, despite significant support from Mostly Harmless after the tackle. Now, a poor piloting decision later led to Invicta losing its own mothership as well, helping to even the odds. The situation in the North has heated up just a bit, with one of the corps that left wildly inappropriate claiming a Technetium Moon as a corp asset. In the immediate aftermath, Rage seemed to back their new members, but since no Northern entity has Technetium Moons as a corp asset, they quickly reverse the position. It seems that soon, wildly inappropriate will have a new Technetium Moon to dole out. March 17th, in Geminid, a battle raged and ended with 20 drone Russian super capitals dead in a huge loss that's sure to demoralize their war efforts. The Northern Coalition's forces in o 2 tac 2 x showed up for a reinforcement timer, which was completed in a short amount of time, and then baited the drone Russians into dropping their fleet on a much larger force. The drone Russians lost 8 Titans and 12 supercarriers, while the NC lost 1 Titan much later in an unrelated incident. Is this the turning point in the battle for O2O? 2 Special thanks to Eve News 24 to CCP, to Dotlin, to viewers like you, and to Surtur for doing these videos. Thanks for listening.